So the Internet of Things and smart homes are hot areas these days, and our next team is using this kind of technology for an issue that any of us that are actually uh, dealing with aging parents or grandparents can really relate to. Please welcome Emerald. Nice job. So I have this really vivid memory from when I was a child where my mom was unable to get a hold of my grandmother on the phone. And this would happen from time to time, and so we would jump in the car and drive over there to check on her. I remember walking down the stairs, and I saw her lying there on the ground. She had slipped on a towel while doing laundry and broke her right hip. She estimates that she was on the ground for close to 10 hours. So my name is Dan. I'm really excited to tell you about a device that we've invented called Emerald that would have done wonders in this situation. Unfortunately, stories like mine are not all that rare. Injuries associated with elderly falls are a massive healthcare problem here in the United States. Just last year, 2.5 million visits to the emergency room due to falls, generating hundreds of billions of dollars in medical expenses. As was the case with my grandma, the more time a fall victim spends on the ground, the more serious the injury becomes. Furthermore, there's a huge caregiver worry problem as well. For people like my mom looking after an elderly parent, and perhaps for some of you in the crowd, they spend on average 21 hours per week providing care and doing check-ins. Families rank falls as their number one source of worry ahead of mismedicating and wandering. So what, what's currently out there to help? How are people currently dealing with this? There's these devices called pendants. Perhaps you've seen them on infomercials. You wear it around your neck. Uh, should you have it on when you fall, you push it and hopefully an ambulance comes. The problem is that pendants have been proven ineffective in emergencies in studies 96% of the time. 96. Why is that? It's because falls are happening in the middle of the night when people are getting up to go to the restroom. They're happening when people are getting in and out of the shower. Falls don't happen at convenient times when people have pendants on. It was interesting, during the intro, when Z was talking about all the crazy changes that she's seen since 1991 in her time here. What hasn't changed since 1991 is the same technology that we're using today. Fast forward 30 years. This is the latest and greatest from Philips Lifeline. They generate $1.6 billion with this device on a 1% market penetration. The bottom line is that wearables here don't work. And this is why I'm really excited to introduce our approach. This is a brand new solution. Introducing Emerald. This is the first fall detection device that doesn't use sensors or wearables. Emerald assists families with the day-to-day -day responsibilities that come with providing care for an elderly parent. So this is a really big claim. How exactly does this work? Well, you place an emerald in your house and it emits wireless signals that reflect off of people and objects. Our software and algorithms interpret those reflections and we construct a 3D model of the environment. Falls have a particularly easily identifiable motion pattern and similar to a Wi-Fi router, one emerald can cover an entire house. When Emerald does detect a fall, it sends a text message, phone call, or email to a custom list of recipients. Those recipients are empowered to follow up directly or send an ambulance. But falls are just the beginning. This is what I'm really excited about. It's that we think we're addressing the caregiver worry problem as well. Using the data we collect, we can tell you how your mom is doing today. We can tell you things like step count that's occurred inside the house. We can tell you things like hours spent in bed. So where are we at? Well, we, uh, our technology has received a tremendous amount of media attention and won numerous technical awards. It was invented here at MIT by Professor Dina Katabi of the Electrical Engineering Department. And for her work on this device, she was awarded uh, a MacArthur Genius Grant. We're extremely proud and excited to be both the inventors and patent holders of this technology. The best part is that this thing works really, really well. And I invite anyone who wants to come see it to see a demo at STATA between 12 and 3 on Friday. We're able to detect falls with 97% accuracy within the first minute. And as the person lies on the ground, our accuracy improves to 100% after 15 minutes. Recall the link between the time spent on the ground and the seriousness of the injury. So we've set aside our academic focus here, and now we're working full time on commercialization of the product. Just in the last year, we've shrunk it from these lab-specific builds down to this. And my friend Fadel has our current device right here. Again, the size of a Wi-Fi router. 
the question remains, can the Emerald team deliver on what we think is a, a tremendous amount of value that we've created for the elderly? The answer is yes. I mentioned Professor Dina Katabi and the MacArthur Genius Grant, and she's supported by my friend Fadal Adib, who was recently named to the Forbes 30 Under 30 for this device. Uh, my name is Dan, and I lead the business, and I think we've assembled uh, an incredible team of MIT graduate students to develop the right business model, customer acquisition strategy, and manufacturing roadmap to deliver. We think that Emerald has the opportunity to change the daily lives of millions of elderly and their caregivers. I'd like to thank you for your time. We'd like to invite you to come visit us at Stata and suggest you visit emeraldforhome.com for more videos and information about our product. Just send it away. <laughs> Thanks. That is. Okay. Um, well you gave us a great example of um, watching uh, mom at home, but can you comment on institutional applications like long-term care facilities and how this product would work when you've got dozens of people walking around? And also, related to that, can you comment on who's going to pay for this and what's the insurance landscape uh, for your product? Yeah, I got it. Two both really nice questions. So first off, uh, institutionally, when you set up the device, you basically turn it on and you pair it with your cell phone and you outline the perimeter of your house. So for people living in you know, high-density assisted living facilities, you can either say, hey, here's one device where I can cover one room, or if I'm an operator of an assisted living facility, maybe I have one device covering three or four at the same time. We think the economics are actually very nice for the assisted living facilities as well. Um, as for your second question, who's going to pay for it? We're actually taking a different approach than, say, Philips Lifeline. We're marketing directly to the adult children. These are children 50, or these are parents 50 to 65 years old who now have a you know, 80, 85-year-old parent either living at, on home, uh, living with them, or it's, maybe it's time to move to an assisted living facility. The device is $249 and then priced the exact same for Philips Lifeline at $44.95 per month. Any questions? Yeah, hey, Dan, talk to us a little bit more about the, uh, the wealth of information that you're collecting uh, and, and really the predictive piece of this. We, yeah. we, we, we've seen with a number of the presentations that data is, is an incredible asset. Uh, and, and how do you look at that, and how do you think to uh, create more value based on the data you're collecting? Yeah, so the, the predictive component, the quality of life component, steps at home, hours spent in bed, we think that's where like, the real value is. We actually spoke with Hartford Insurance Group, and we're working to build, hopefully, a predictive model that says, hey, step count for mom is kind of falling off a cliff. She was walking 600 steps a day, and now she's at 200. It's taking her 15 seconds to walk down the stairs. This is a red flag. Fall is imminent. So we think that that's where we want to go. But right now, falls first. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you.